In Kenya, Lake Victoria produces more than 70% of Kenya's fish. Recently, fish in the lake have become scarce due to pollution and overfishing. The price of fish is sharply on the rise. This gap creates a great opportunity for development of aquaculture to supply the growing demand for fish. To nam ka si tiye mangeng, to kane benefit. Gimo me o mano te gimo me o gima kilo mano kilo anti marichu. To ande ni tiye matendo. Mama korech matendo. Ije jok mokti. To promote aquaculture, the Kenya market-led aquaculture program came up. It's now working with fish farmers, feed manufacturers, input suppliers, traders and other stakeholders to boost the aquaculture industry. Fish food can be classified in two, in major two types. Eh? You'll find the natural food and the artificial. Now in artificial, we get the complete feeds and supplementary feeds. Now supplementary feeds are used where you are also fertilizing. Complete feeds are quality feeds, which, are, which have all the requirements that a fish needs to grow. And that is what we promote as Farm Africa. Quality feeds are complete feeds. These feeds are made of a mixture of carefully selected ingredients to provide all the nutritional requirement of the fish. For example, vitamins, minerals, proteins, lipids and carbohydrates. They are made in a form which a fish finds it easy to eat and digest. Generally, when we talk of quality feed, we refer to how many kilos of feed will give us one kilo of fish over the production period. Uh, fish feed is made of different ingredients. Key is protein, but there are other uh, ingredients like the lipids, that is the fats. We have the carbohydrates, and we also have vitamins and minerals. Feeds, we have them in different forms. We may have feeds in pellets, we may have feeds in mash, we may have feeds in crumbs. Quality feed normally are in pellets, and there are pellets that are floating types. There is a special way to feed the fish in the farm. Uh, first, you must train your fish so that they know the feeding point. When it reaches feeding time, all fish will go at the feeding point. So, uh, uh, no any fish will miss the feeding. Every, every fish will be feeding because they are always at the feeding point when it reaches feeding time. You, you monitor the response. Then you add. The advantage of the correct feeding, you will avoid the waste of feeds and also you will get the right weight of fish, the targeted weight of the fish. Aquaculture has the potential to increase employment improve income and provide families with an affordable source of protein. Quality feed, if a farmer walks into a shop and wants to know if it's a good quality feed, he will check the ingredients that are indicated in the, given by the manufacturer. And this normally includes the protein, which is, there's a minimum required protein content. They are the, red, the level of lipids, the level of carbohydrates, vitamins and minerals because those are generally the dietary nutrition requirements that are required by fish. Okay, now before you actually start uh, seining uh, the fish and taking them out of the pond, it's, it's best to prepare the, the balance before you do that. Put the balance on there, it's stable. Uh, prepare a bucket with water and tear it, put it to zero, then you put in the fish. Because in the small bucket you, you lose too much water. Put it to zero.
So the actual weight is now 793 grams. Okay, in this case, in this pond we just sampled, we found uh, 13 fish in our sample. The total weight of the sample was uh, 8 kilos, so that gives an average weight of about 62 grams. Now the 62 grams is important because you, uh, uh, the amount of feed as a percentage of the body weight of the fish, you can find it in a table and it varies according to the body weight of the fish. Uh, a small fish eats more as a percentage of its body weight than a big fish. So we look in the, in, into the table, you can find uh, a fish of 62 grams and it will eat 3.6% of its body weight every day. Now this fish, this, this tank contained uh, 1500 fish. So 1500 times uh, the average body weight gives about uh, 90 kilos of fish. 90 kilos of fish, uh, if you feed them with 3% of the body weight, 3.6%, uh, means that you have to feed them, uh, or that they could eat, 3.3 kilos per day. Farmers and traders need support and investment if fish farming is to become a competitive industry. Quality feeds are now available in Kenya, and especially in Western Kenya, we have a number of people who, have now, who are now importing quality feeds and selling out to the farmers. These, some of them, initially they used to be through aqua shops, but now we have a number of importers and also producers. The prices vary depending on we have you know feeds we have the starters we have the the growers and then the finishers normally starters are used for the first month they are expensive they may go as much as 400 shillings and then the quantity that is used most are the gro the growers these ones ranges from something like 150 to 180 per kilo Remember, feed costs money. Randomly throwing the feed in the pond means throwing money in the pond. If the fish are not responding well, it is wise to stop the feeding session. With fish feeds, the packaging should ensure that okay, there is no moisture uh, at all in the feeds because this first reduces the value uh, and also ends up actually spoiling. And the moment they are exposed again, uh, uh, these insects get easily attracted uh, to these feeds and therefore they get damaged very fast. And because of that, therefore, we ensure that okay, our packages are always very tight, uh, quite durable, and can easily actually reach the farmers while they're still in very good condition. I started fish farming in uh, 2010 with the ESP program. Back then, uh, the quality feeds was a problem, and we used it to grow fish over 18 months. But when I started using quality feeds, you can attain the same weight within uh, eight months. When we are talking about uh, quality feeds, actually we should be talking about also conversion, feed conversion ratio, which they refer to as FCR. Food conversion ratio is, is the ratio of the quantity of food to feed the fish in kilograms to the weight gained by the fish. Temperature is important. Fish, uh, f in terms of feeding, fish eat, eat less when the temperatures are low. And uh, normally the optimal temperatures 
range between 25 and 29. So below 25, fish will eat less. I've got uh, three pods, one with catfish and two with tilapia. We, we feed them twice, around nine and at four. To be frank, this was introduced to us by people from Pam Africa only recently. So before I was not using uh, records, but I find it it's okay because you know exactly what you have given and what you have in the store. Okay, when using quality feeds, it is important that wastage is avoided at all costs. A number of farmers, after our trainings, realizes that they have been feeding the pond as opposed to the fish. And this wastage can really eat into the potential interest that the farmer may get. 